Well, I think it's important that we know it isn't only happening here, that these, mm -hmm. the, the forces that are so disrupting everything here are, we're seeing across Europe, in the UK with the Brexit vote, in France with the rise of Marine Le Pen, in Germany, there, there is a, there's a, this extraordinary upheaval that I think is partly trying to replace, you know, a, a, a global order that Harry Truman helped to build after the war and that kept the peace and drove unprecedented peace and prosperity for 70 years. This has been the most peaceful 70 years since the Roman Empire. And, and now, the trying to adjust that to the 21st century to allow for new players, new markets, new manufacturing to, is, is causing distress all around the world. It's not at all unique to the United States. And it's a, it's a massive undertaking. And, and I also think it, it is connected. It's important to, this is not only about economic dislocation and people whose jobs have been outsourced. I think it is about this, the rise of nationalism that we're seeing everywhere and that we're seeing in this country where we're having a very different kind of debate over the nature of, I, of American identity and American values and cosmopolitanism versus parochialism. That's an argument that is taking place in different forms all around the world and, and it's not going to end on November 8th, no matter what the outcome is. This, I think it's very important to understand as much as we all want this race to be over, it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is not, nothing is going to end on election day. Mm -hmm.